Hello, today I'm going to give you an update on my life-size Iron Man suit, Progress. It's been a while since I've put a video up. There's a couple of uh, videos in my channel and there's some information on my website, which is xrobots.co.uk. Um, but basically I'm just going to give a bit of a recap. Um, so what I've got here is a, a suit which I made out of foam, and you can see the construction details on my website. So all of these pieces basically made of plastazote foam and they were made from modified Pepecura templates and you can also find a link to the templates which are in the replica prop forum the links on my website in the foam building section if anyone wants them so the entire suit has been made of foam and it's been um, sealed and painted as you can see um, and the next stage on from that was basically making moulds from all the pieces in silicon rubber and then casting them to make a rigid suit so now I'm going to show you some of the moulds that I made and some of the pieces that I cast from that So here are some random shelves in my shed which have got basically most of the moulds on them. So let's just have a look what we've got. Um, this is the mould for the back of the torso and the front of the torso. And um, what have we got here is, I believe that's the mould for the forearm. And the other one's behind it for left and right. I think that's a shoulder belt. Let's just pull that out of there. That's one of the shoulder bells. So all of these moulds have been made um, basically by putting silicon rubber all over the foam pieces. As I say, there's um, some details on my website about that and I'm going to be putting some more up. I haven't actually finished all the moulds yet. So I've got most of the upper body done and the legs are actually in progress at the moment. What else have we got? The hand plate. I think that must be the upper arms. And if we can see right in there. Right up there is the mould for Alien's Head, which is another project I haven't finished. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the finished pieces. And here are the rigid parts that I've cast so far from the moulds I just showed you. So all of these parts are basically made of fast cast urethane. It's smooth on 65D, which is a fast cast, which basically was put in the moulds. The moulds were tipped around to coat the surface. and. Basically all these plastic parts were made. I spent quite a long time sanding them down and cleaning them up because the original casts that came from the foam were quite messy. If you have a look at my website you can see the, pro the process of uh, taking the raw cast of the helmet and then cleaning it up to get what we've got here. So I've got some other pieces on the shelf here. Got that piece. And also got the back and front of the pelvis. Which will eventually fit on there somehow. So the only thing missing is the legs, which um, I'll show you in a moment. And then the next thing I did was make another mould from this helmet, so I can make future casts. So I've got another cast here. So instead of having to go through the, pro the process every time of cleaning and sanding um, the cast that came out of the original mould, I've made a nice new mould, which is just on the table here so that I can make subsequent casts that are as good as the first one after I've cleaned it up. So the plan for this one is to cut the faceplate off so I can make one with a flip up faceplate and do different colour schemes and so on. So let me just show you these moulds. Again there's details of exactly how they were made on the website but basically it's a two part mould which allows fibre glassing into each half and then you can put them together and then it's you just have to patch up the seam line which makes fiberglassing much easier because it's quite messy otherwise you'd have to put your hand and a brush in through the neck hole and that wouldn't be very easy. Now the other thing I found with the urethane is that basically it's quite bendy so the other thing that I've done if I just move these out of the way is to make a couple of fiberglass pieces from the upper body so I've got this piece which is obviously the back of the torso and the front and these are made of fiberglass in the same moulds that I just showed you so they're a lot more rigid and they're going to hold their shape a lot better for the bigger pieces see that fits together just about like that to make the torso so there's still quite a lot of cleaning up to do on these you can see the car body filler the plan is probably to do these pieces and probably the thighs in fiberglass because it's much more rigid. Alright, so let's have a look at the legs. So this is as far as I've got with the legs. 
and these are basically all the foam pieces which are covered in silicon. If you want to see a picture of what they actually look like in foam, you can have a look on my website. There's some close-up pictures of the legs and the whole suit. So um, basically these are the thighs which I've completely covered in silicon. They've got lumps on which will act as registration keys with the mother mould. The other half is covered in mod rock which will eventually be fiberglassed over to make a two-part rigid support case. Uh, these are obviously the shins. Now you can see there's one thin coat of silicon on this side and several thick coats on that side. And then again I'll do the same thing, we'll make a two-part mother mould that supports the rubber. There's a seam line down here, so this is a big wrap-around mould which um, obviously being rubber will is unwrapped from the original piece and the finished casts. So as I said, I'm probably going to use fiberglass for the thighs and then I'll do the shins in um, urethane rotocast, the same as the other pieces. The feet are in pretty much the same state, they're not quite as good, so I'm probably going to make, take my chances and make smaller pieces of, um, pieces of the foam, mould them in individual pieces and try and get like a three-piece shoe or something like that so that I can fit that on a rubber boot and it's all flexible. So, um, basically that's all I've got for now. So, hopefully I'll be doing an update. I've got a cunning plan for the hip pods which are going to be 3D printed, which I'll be making a video on soon. So, check out my blog and my website for progress and watch my channel for more videos. Goodbye.